Hello, welcome to my episode of my Xbox One controller, episode one. Today, I am going to talk about three different controllers, and they're made by two different companies. I am not allowed to say because of the copyright and franchise. So, the first one is the Halo 5 edition. You can get different color besides gray. The most and thing I like about this controller is how the design look on the controller. Like the A, X, Y, and B is like a darker gray. And the other side of the shell on the A, B, X, and Y is like a lighter gray. I like how this controller works. If you're playing by yourself, like campaign, it's okay. By me, I give it a thumbs up on the controller because it's a good controller to buy. Definitely a good controller to play with, especially it costs you $60. The next one, I got this from a website. Thought it would be a great controller, a modded controller. And I'm not allowed to say the real name of the controller of the company because it's copyrighted. And this guy made it. It's poorly made because he did refurbish them. I like the color of the A, B, X, and Y. I like how the controller looks okay. It doesn't work that great. Because of the thumbstick, sometimes if you push down or whatever the side you try to push on, it will get stuck. If you try to play multiplayer or campaign, your character will be spinning around and around. Let me um grab one of these cases to cover up. To cover up the name of the company. I have the other battery pack for this. It, it, it goes with these button mash back here. They don't even work that great at all. Because it's awful. Cost me $80. For this crappy controller ever made. If you open this up and look in the back. It's duct tape and glue. How pathetic. Somebody can make a modern controller. Or whoever else made it. And this guy that he fixes them. With duct tape and glue. The last one. Again because is a company made controller. I am not responsible. For the company's name because it's a lawsuit if I copy the name of it to tell you guys the name of it. This is a Call of Duty modded controller. Cost me $150. Still not allowed to say the name of the company. I love the control look. Even they use like probably I think these are bullet cases they use. For the buttons itself. And I like how the thumbstick works. The $80 controller. The one I. This $80 controller. Came with two thumbsticks. One. It came with a. With this color thumbstick. Green. And it came with a spear. That's in case if it breaks. And it came with a. Top for it. A Call of Duty Black Ops 3. It's for the thumbsticks. It looks great. I use this most of the time on the $150 controller. Because it match. With the logo on the bottom. And it works much better. On this controller than the other ones. Again the thumbstick looks okay. It works. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you guys have any. 
if you guys have any questions about which controller you think is the best give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you guys have any comments leave them below and I'll respond to you guys when I have a chance so leave any comments down below again just in case if you guys watching this have a nice day or morning peace bye bye